A man is going to marry a robot that he's been dating for two years. Who knew? And while I'm a strong purveyor of thinking with your head and following your heart no matter what the obstacle, this particular story is a little bit eye-opening to say the least, if not incredibly informative. What's going on guys and welcome back to Inform Overload, the channel where you usually watch Charlotte, Rebecca or Johnny telling you some of the most ingenious, insane and downright informative information that's overloading the internet. Ah, I get it now. Now you might be thinking, who the hell are you dude? Get off my screen. And well, I'd be thinking the same, but Charlotte's my girl, she said something about potatoes and she asked me to tell you guys about this guy, a 29 year old named Joey Morris from Maryland, good old USA, who's fallen madly in love with a robot that he's been in a relationship with the past two years. And I wouldn't say that's rushing things at all because some people often get married after like two days or even just one night if you're Ross and Rachel and you've got a thing or two for macadamia nuts. Now if like me you first saw this nugget of new information and thought Joey had fallen madly in love with some kind of exotic romance android like in Andrew Garland's Ex Machina, then you'd be sorely mistaken because the robot that he's head over heels for is actually a four inch plastic figurine, also known as Robotroll. Do you guys remember trolls? Small, tiny plastic figurines that had bright colored hair that you presumably comb and put into weird shapes, stuff like that. Well, yeah, it's one of those. But that's not to say that Joey's love for Robotroll isn't boundless and expansive, because it is. You see, as Joey himself remarked on in an interview with Unilad, he sexually identifies as an objectum, a form of paraphilia that focuses on particularly important inanimate objects. Say that three times fast. Otherwise known as object sexuality or objectophilia, Individuals such as Joey who identify in this manner indicate a preference towards objects that otherwise don't talk, walk or think for themselves. Unless it's Annabelle the doll, but I'm pretty sure that Joey wouldn't touch her with a 10 foot barge pole because let's face it, she's horrifying. During his interview, Joey claimed that his first attraction to an inanimate object occurred when he was 10 years old, when he realised that he'd made a particularly close bond with a lamp at school. Unfortunately, Joey's first encounter with a broken heart quickly followed after the lamp was removed from his classroom by a perturbed teacher leaving him completely distraught. Since then, he's developed relationships with a Halloween figurine known as Donna the Dead and even the saviour of Cybertron himself, Optimus Prime. But all of them have paled in comparison to his newest love, Robotroll. So much so that he's booked the two of them a trip to Florida and if Robotroll plays its cards right, then the two of them plan a shotgun wedding. Good job, guys. I'm happy for you. Joey says that he's been incredibly lucky as his close friends and the majority of his family accept his sexuality for the most part and although they often find it difficult to fully understand his feelings, they still support him nonetheless. As he goes on to say, Joey is completely smitten in his relationship with Robotroll and for those people that don't agree with his life choices, he tends to distance himself. He says simply he finds it easier to form romantic bonds with objects rather than people and because of that, he's completely happy with his sexuality. Well, in that case, I wish the two of them the very best of luck. Who knew, right? Well, I've definitely learned something new today. If you've learned something new, then why don't you hit that thumbs up button, ding that subscribe bell and leave a comment below saying how much you you like potatoes and Charlotte and you know stuff like that. I for one have thoroughly enjoyed my flying visit over to IO and if you'd like to see more of me or you love horror cinema and all things historically terrifying you can catch me over at top five scary videos check it out probably a link below. Before we depart let's take a quick look at some of your more creative comments from over the past few days. First off Angie Taylor says I live in Britain it's always miserable. Yes Yes, it is, Angie, but that's the price that we pay for living in Blighty. Misery breeds company. Next up, Hannah Fideku says, I have exams on Wednesday and Thursday this week. I would love a good look from Inform Overload. Whoa, Hannah, that's, uh, that's a bit of a responsibility. Exams, damn. Well, I'm sure it'd be awesome. Best of luck from everyone here at IO. Keep studying. Well, on that note, cheers for sticking around all the way until the end. I've been your host, Jack Finch, crashing IO, and until next time, you take it easy.